Happy New Year's and welcome to the first episode of TQA Weekly of the New Year. And we're going to start it off right by getting your computer prepared for Tor. And we're going to do this by teaching you how to add a new Debian package to your Ubuntu 11.10 Onric system. So today I'm going to be showing you how to insert Debian packages from other software sources other than Ubuntu into your Ubuntu 11.10 Onoric soft uh, operating system and this is a very valuable skill. So this even though we're preparing your computer for an episode in two weeks this is something you need to learn anyway when dealing with Linux. In general there are always these slight quirks of learning how it works and how to get more software running on your computer and this is another way of getting you to learn. You're going to get to have cool software that protects your identity on the internet and you get to learn valuable skills at the same time. So two birds, one stone and I guarantee you, no birds were injured in this episode. Next week of course you'll be learning how to use a terminal. So that text editor thingy that you usually see on TV where they suppose that hackers are in, you're going to learn how that thing actually works. And you're going to learn how to activate a command as root inside the terminal and even have to, how to copy and paste since it can be, you know, it, a little annoying. So how about we get to the demo. Just a note. These three episodes are not sponsored by Tor Project. They're simply instructional guidelines to allow new users of Ubuntu 11.10 Onoric to access software designed to protect their anonymity online. I did not build any of the source code or participate at any point in the project. I just believe in it. For those who do not have Ubuntu 11.10 Onoric installed, you may get it by visiting ubuntu.com where you have the option of using the Windows installer which we used or the live Linux version. Both can be used to install Ubuntu onto your system Windows without damaging the Windows installation. For the purpose of all demonstrations, we use the standard 64-bit Ubuntu operating system. If you have a different version of Ubuntu, Head over to the show notes for sources to relevant links to get the precise lines of commands for your version of Ubuntu. You can go to tqaweekly.com or the Tor project. Of course, in the show notes, I have the direct link to the page you need to go. For the purpose of the next three episodes, all information about the correct packages you should install and all commands that should be used to install and operate the software correctly are referenced from torproject.org. We are going to be using option 2 known as Tor on Ubuntu or Debian. Usually when we add a Debian package to Linux operating systems, we add it to a file located at etc. Hold on. File system etc. apt source list just open it so you can see it and you would add it to so you can see it and you would add it to the bottom of the file so you would click enter and add another entry so we'll just close this the other way to do so is to click the Ubuntu button on the unity toolbar on the left at the top Type in the word system without pressing enter. Double click system settings. Under system at the bottom, double click software sources. Click the other software tab. Click add. And add the following command which should be on the screen. And for those listening to the audio, it is DEB space http colon double backslash deb dot tor t o r project dot org slash again tor project dot org space in this case onoric 
So that's O-N-E-I-R-I-C, space again, main. That's the whole command. Click the add source button, which is a green plus sign. Type in the password for your session. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you will now see two new entries. You got the standard one and the one written source code. If you had added it to the sources.list file, you would only have the main one and not the source code. At this point, you can just close the windows and you are done. Now that's the end of the demonstration of how to add Debian packages within a Debian environment such as Ubuntu Onoric. Of course, next week we will be getting to the terminal part of the learning process. And if you want to get the information for this episode or any other episode, want to join in on our mailing list for our weekly newsletter, or you just want to get your own TQA weekly gear and apparel, head over to tqaweekly.com. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Z-E-D-A-X-I-S. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and stay safe and online. Till next week.